the side Too afraid to open up, so I'd rather hide Man, I'm just so grateful that I made it this far Almost thought I had to call my mama in a cup car Man, he's everything for me and everything I need I would be nothing if you didn't give me no reason to be here to the family i'm glad to see you guys here and to all my old family members y'all already know what it is okay but anyways y'all on the on the agenda for this morning i got up around five o'clock this morning and i've been going y'all know me i can't sit down even though i be tired i still be going um i got up about around five got jeffrey up around 5 30 got him off to the bus stop came back home and decided to go fishing i am not taking you guys along with me fishing y'all probably tired of seeing me go fishing okay that's just my little hobby that's just my pastime you know what i mean that's just my <sighs> woo time okay my grandbaby he's gone um with his mom i've had him um at my home for about five days i miss him already y'all oh my goodness last night i was in here cooking some hamburgers and I could have sworn that I heard him crying in the room. Oh my God, I was, I'm just so used to his voice. You know what I mean? I was like, Zion, and then I, I had to, you know, like, oh my God, he's not even here anymore. But I'm just so used to his presence in the house. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, he'll probably be back in a couple of days. I can't stay gone from him too long, y'all. But um, I know he has to, you know, enjoy his other family as well as he enjoying my side of the family. But anyways, y'all, um, I just turned on the camera to, you know, say, hey, y'all, hey, and let y'all know what I'm doing for the, uh, this morning. It's about 7.22 in the morning. It's always good to get an early start when you're going fishing. I wish we could have got out of there a little earlier, maybe about 5.30 this morning, you know, really get some good fishing in, but it's fine. It's okay. Um, what else I got on my agenda? Well, y'all know I got uh, the baby shower coming up that I got to cook and prep for. And I probably won't make it to Sam's Club probably till tomorrow to, um, you know, get everything that I need for the baby shower. Um, I, I know I need to uh, get some eggs out of Sam's Club because I stumbled upon, uh, a, a, it's kind of like a corner to size bag of already peeled and boiled eggs. That helps me out a lot and save a lot of time. So I'm probably going to get some bags of eggs because I need to at least do a hundred eggs, guys. So I'm just going to pick up a little, you know, fruit items out of Sam's Club for the baby shower. I will probably take you guys along with me um, doing that. And um, of course, if y'all want to see me cook or see what I made for the baby shower, please go over there to my cooking channel i always do a, a cooking video and you know put it over there on the cooking channel i always leave the link in the description box below but yeah that's that's all i got going on this morning y'all ain't nothing much going on over here real smooth and easy morning it ain't nothing like being on the lake early in the morning oh god you talking about peace just talking to God in peace. I can't even describe it to y'all. That water just brings you peace. You hear me? But anywho, y'all, I'm finna go ahead and get my butt up. Make sure I got all my fishing gear and everything that I need. And I don't want to forget anything. I, the one thing I definitely don't want to forget is my needle nose pliers, okay? I be needing them needle nose out there. 
So I got to make sure everything is in my tackle box because my kids have a habit of going in there taking stuff out. But anyways, I'm going to turn you guys on maybe tomorrow or later on today. But if I don't see you anymore today, it will definitely be tomorrow. Talk to you guys later. I said I wasn't going to pick y'all up today for fishing, okay? But I done ran into my cousin and baby, he done brought me to his little honey hole. Y'all, and I'm praying that I have a good catch today. Let me turn this camera around. Lord Jesus, let me have a good catch. Because baby, I'm finna throw this pole out here. And if y'all know me, <laughs> if you take that line, you're coming with me, okay? You're coming with me. I'm so finna throw my pole out here. It's shady and all. That's what I'm talking about. Because baby, be hot. Yeah, like y'all, that's my cousin. He done brought me to the honey home. Honey hole, baby. Honey hole. Yes, Lord. Let me go get my pole and stuff, y'all. Hold on. Look at me. Put my chip. chip. Look. And eels. And eels. Look at all that good old water. Yes, Lord. Hey. I said prayer when I wake up in the morning. Lord, I need you now. You don't see the other. Like, you're gonna do that turn, see? Oh. Lord, I need you, Maya. When I'm you, got me feeling like I'm soaring. High above the clouds. High above the clouds. is two right here one right there and one swimming over a total of four like all in one little setting y'all they my favorite animals i am in love okay look at the baby one and this one back here is the most dominant he's ruling this one i don't know about this one coming up what's gonna go on but yeah they was fighting earlier, these two, misbehaving. Here come the fourth one. What are you guys doing? Now, at any time, he can jump up here where I'm at, guys. But, you know, I'm not scared or anything. Country life, right? This Florida life. You get used to it after a while, guys. That one, no, no, you can throw it away. I'll get another one. Hey, y'all, I'm in Sam's Club. Uh, I did not feel like coming here, but yet I'm here, okay. But, anyways, y'all know I got to cook for this baby shower, child. So, I'm in here just getting some little last minute things. Child, I'm looking at this salad, huh? Oh. I don't mess these people's salads up. Oh, my bad. Let me just show y'all. Let me turn the camera around. Oh, these salads look good. Y'all ought to mess these people's dog on salad up. My bad. Try they had it so neat. My bad. But they look good. But I don't know about the blue cheese in it. That one, I'm, I'm scared of that blue cheese. Then they got this one too, but it ain't got no meat or anything in it. I don't know about that. It's more like a Caesar uh, salad. But let me just go over here and see what they got. I heard they chicken uh, salad was really, really good. I ain't never tried it before. I ain't really a chicken salad person, y'all. Maybe some tuna. But I see these shrimp. I could just eat these tonight, really. I don't know, y'all. I be wanting something and just don't know what my taste buds be really wanting, child. They got some good looking prepared foods, though. We're going to figure it out. 
These little baby lamb chops, y'all like how to get by seven packs of these, honey, to fill my churn up. Child, they so little. But I do want me some of this um lamb chop. $41, which isn't bad. I see some for 55 I ain't never cooked lamb chop before, y'all. This pack right here look like it need to be the why. Because it look old. Oh, look at this. And then look at that. Yeah, that, that one need to go. It ain't no good. This is like one of the main things I come here for. Ever since I done discovered that they have already boiled eggs, it kind of like a corner to size, it's coming home with me, y'all. Because that saves me so much time from pulling all those eggs. So I think I'm going to get maybe three bags of eggs. And they're like seven, eight, and four a bag. everything in me to get in this kitchen tonight but I ain't cooked in a while so I say let me turn y'all on and talk to y'all while I cook y'all it's been it's what April the what fourth I think man the beginning of this month so far has been so busy for me y'all I've been ripping and running and running and ripping well I guess that ain't nothing new is it yeah, that probably ain't nothing new. But anyways, y'all have been busy. Whew. If it ain't one thing, it's another all the time, y'all. But by the grace of God, I've been getting through it. Now, my agenda for tomorrow is prepping. I got this baby shower Saturday. So, I like to go ahead and, you know, get my cucumbers, my tomatoes. Just everything that I need prepped up, prep. My meat brown. Just everything Ziploc bag and, and just prepped up like ain't nothing to it so i got to have everything done by 12 p.m noon to uh saturday so I, I got a lot on my little plate after that i got another little event to take care of on the 11th so i'm just busy y'all uh, but you know what they say if that money right i'm gonna be there every night okay so if that money calling hey i'm there but anywho, y'all, I'm just in here making this little shepherd's pie for my kiddos. I hope everybody done had a blessed Thursday. Everybody having a good day. My day has been busy. And then as soon as I just started to wind down, look, my grandbaby at the door. Little old knock. I'm like, oh, there you go, telling me to let him in, child. So you know it ain't no risk for the weary. Ain't that what they say? <laughs> No, y'all, I enjoy it, though. I enjoy it. I don't want to miss a moment of his little life, okay? But, um, yeah, I'm just in here. At first, I had them reneged on the kids because y'all know they supposed to took that meat out the other night, okay? And they didn't. So they still tell me, is you going to still make the shepherd's pie? And I said, no, nah, I ain't making no shepherd's pie tonight. Yeah, my, my son told me about some. Corn told me about some. How you going to say you going to cook something and then renege? <laughs> So I say, let me go ahead. It don't take shepherd's pie long anyway. So let me go ahead and, you know, make them a little shepherd. I ain't made it in a while, y'all. God knows I, I haven't. And I got these little frozen um, bell peppers and onions and stuff that I had already in the freezer. 
And I might still chop up an onion because it looks like more bell pepper than onion. So I might still chop up an onion. I'm going to get one out of the refrigerator. So I went to grab me an onion right quick. I'm going to go ahead and chop that up. And y'all know if you hear some noise, it's onion right down here by my leg. So uh, over there messing with some. What you doing, boy? He over there messing with some, y'all. Y'all, I'm starting to think that I'm allergic to insects, y'all. Every time I come from the lake, no lie, it's like my eyes be tore up. You hear me? I don't know if it's just my allergies, you know, that time of the year or what. So I'm going to cut this onion up right quick, y'all. Just dice it up, rough chop it, nothing fancy. And drop it on over here in this meat. Child, nothing fancy. But like I was saying, y'all, it's like every time I come from fishing, my eyes be like on 10. Like I always have to come and put eye drops in them and... They just be irritated. It, it don't even feel like itchiness. It just feel like irritation. And it, it just gets on my last nerve. I'm not lying. I'm like, oh my goodness, am I allergic to being outside? That cannot be. Much as I love fishing. Child, no. I'm just going to get these a rough chop because they kind of big, y'all. I guess I was lazy that day when I was cutting it up. Probably will. Probably will, child. I be having so much going on on this little plate. But I don't like the, uh, for my vegetables and stuff to go bad. So I always cut them up and put them in Ziploc bags before they go bad. So I must have just tossed these on, sliced them, and put them in the freezer. But that's okay. Ah. Mother's job is never done. You hear me? It's always something to do. Always. Even in my sleep, I'm going. Child, the other night I was dreaming I was running around the track. Now, you know that was a dream because my dick behind ain't finna run nowhere. Okay? So, you know that was a doggone dream. I'm just saying, okay? That was definitely a dream. I woke up, I said, I know that's a lie, honey. Because I ain't running nowhere. Honey, that just wasn't no dream, baby. That was a nightmare, okay? <laughs> Y'all, that was a nightmare because the devil is a lie and the truth ain't in it. But anyways, y'all, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just running my mouth in a good mood. Child. I'm tired, but I'm in a good mood with my tiredness. So... Go ahead and knock out this shepherd's pie, y'all. I done drained my oil, but this is how I like to do my uh, meat, because I don't like dry meat in my shepherd's pie, so I sprinkle a little flour in my meat mixture, and I stir it around a little bit. Then I just add a little bit of water. And I just let that thicken up a little bit, y'all. Let me get my brownie out the uh, pantry. So, y'all, I got my brownie out of the um, pantry. And I just pour a little bit just to make my meat a little dull. It ain't for no taste or anything, y'all. It's just for color. Just making my meat a little dull because y'all know I like my meat a little dull like me, okay? So that's all I'm doing here, y'all. Now just let that thicken up. Because who want to eat some shepherd's pie with some dry meat at the bottom? The devil is a lie. Now, y'all, I was going to put vegetables in here, okay? But my son begged me not to, y'all. He do not like it with the vegetables. So I ain't going to do it with vegetables. Like, uh, I normally do sweet peas, corn, um, what else? Carrots. Like that. But he don't like it, so I ain't going to do it. So, okay, y'all, let's put this over here in this pan. So, y'all, we're going to pour our meat mixture right on into this pan. Y'all, I'm going to use this same pan. Don't call me here, though. I'm going to use this same pan. I'm going to wash it and to boil my water in for my mashed potatoes and eels. And eels, y'all. Spread that meat mixture out. So, I got my water on, y'all. I'm going to put some salt 
up in there along with some butter. Grab me some good old butter. Put it on in there. And we're going to let that come to a boil. Because I'm ready to get out this kitchen, y'all. I ain't lying. My energy is low. Really low. I don't really feel like doing anything. Y'all, I had went to Sam's Club and I picked up these pickles right here. We had got these when my mom had her birthday party. And baby, I couldn't stop eating them. They were so freaking good. Y'all, I had to get another job. They ain't number $3 or something at Sam's Club. It kind of got the, um, if y'all could see, it got garlic, onions. It just got flavor in this little jar. I, I talked my mom into getting a jar. I hope she like them as much as I do, y'all. I had done got addicted low key. But anyways, I'm going to bring y'all right back. Let me clean up, tidy up, and all that, and I'll pick y'all right back up. Okay, y'all, our water is hot. I'm going to pour it over to this bowl. Keep in mind, these is instant mashed potatoes. Don't talk about me. Pray for me, okay? I'm lazy today. But anywho, we're going to go ahead and get these titles. See these titles, and we're going to shake it on in there. Now, I try to, you know, get them all in there cooperated first. Because you know they swell up quick. I feel funny using uh, box potatoes. But it is what it is tonight, shoot. Sure. Now, I ain't going to just use this spatula, y'all, so bear with me. I'm just trying to see how much more potato I'm going to need. Because it done pretty much sucked up all my liquid, and that's fine. I'm just trying to get my potato to a certain thickness that I like. Now that I got them to a certain thickness that I like, I'm going to go ahead and use my mixer guys <music> sure is that you got to show these instant mashed potatoes some love okay i'm gonna add some butter on in there don't be stingy with that butter add that on in there and i'm gonna add my seasonings i'm gonna put a little bit of salt i'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder some onion powder Some good old black pepper. I'm going to do a little bit of complete seasoning. And I'm going to do some of this ranch seasoning, y'all. You got to have some flavors in them potatoes, okay? You got to show these instant potatoes a lot of love. Because, baby... If you don't, they will flop on you. They'll be like, uh-uh, don't give me that. So let me go ahead and turn this mixer back on. Okay, y'all, I'm finna scoop my mashed potatoes. On top of my meat mixture. You want your potatoes to be thick, y'all. You don't want no runny potatoes. On your shelf was pie now. I mean, you make it how you want to make it, but you know, I, I'm just making it how my family will eat it, y'all.
Okay, y'all. If y'all hear everybody talking, my kids in the living room. But anyways, it's done. I'm trying to scoop it out for y'all. I was trying to let it sit a little bit before I show y'all, but you know my kids greedy and ready to eat. So I'm just gonna show y'all a little scoop. It don't mind that little grandbaby of mine, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Yes, indeed, honey. They finna tear it up. I'm gonna try to let it sit just a little bit so the mashed potatoes can firm back up. Okay, y'all, I'm finna let this cool and let these mashed potatoes firm up a little bit because it's fresh out the oven, y'all. And you know when you're cooking mashed potatoes, they tend to get a little loose. But anyways, I'm gonna pick y'all up tomorrow. I'm finna go take me a shower and relax for the, the rain, remaining of my night. Because your girl tired. I've been ripping and running all dog on day. Had to go to Sam's Club and um pick up some stuff for the baby shower. Still got a whole Walmart order that I'm going to pick up in the morning. Because I didn't feel like doing all that. So I just did a Walmart order and put everything that I think I'm going to need in that order. But anyways, I'm going to pick y'all up tomorrow. Talk to y'all and tomorrow. Shoot with a little bit, whatever. I'm going to go shower. I'm tired. Y'all, I pulled it off as usual. I'm in here packing the car, finna take everything that I cook and made to the baby shower, y'all. Let me turn my camera around. My helpers, as always, thank God for my kids. They always come through for me when I need them. I'm all loaded up, y'all, and I'm about to head out. Pick you guys up in a little bit. So y'all, I done made it. I'm delivering the food. I'm going to take y'all inside of the baby shower. Y'all, I done made it. It is beautiful. This is the dessert table. I'm going to do a quick little walkthrough for you guys. It is beautiful. I done did my duties. Everybody looked happy and pleased with what I did. So that's great. And I will um, put in a little clip of all the food that I made, y'all. Your girl tired, okay? Hey, y'all. I done made it to my mom's house after I dropped the food off. I'm out here cooking again. <laughs> um, about to do a little seafood boil. My niece is in town from Tallahassee, so why not, right? I'm just in here cutting up some potatoes and stuff. And I'll show y'all the crabs and stuff in a little while. But let me go ahead and finish up what I'm doing. I just wanted to pop on here right quick so y'all won't see me in the kitchen boiling some crabs and be like, what now? But y'all, I'm just um, at my mom's house chilling. You know, just relaxing, gonna relax with the fam and enjoy my niece while she's in town. And I'll pick you guys up a little later. Y'all look at these king crabs. They huge, y'all. Look, look at my hand. They is huge. I'm gonna tear them up too, y'all. They spiky. This is my first time having king crabs too, y'all. So I gotta see what they be by with all the hype about. I know y'all probably can't see me, but I'm in here finna make my little sauce. I'm just adding the butter to the pot. I ain't got my tripod, so y'all got to bear with me. And y'all know the grandbaby back here acting a fool. Flipping all around everywhere. I got to make a lot of sauce, y'all. So I'm using this whole tub. Boop, that just popped on my shirt. A butter. I got y'all in a bad spot, to be honest. I had to move y'all to a different angle because that was so rude with all that smoke in y'all face. This grandbaby of mine slamming cabinets and all. My sister fussing at a child. He all over the place. He love the cabinet. Get him from up under that cabinet. Only my grandchild, right? Hey. 
Yeah, he ain't gonna do right. Too. They love playing with his little behind. I got y'all in the dog area. I'm sorry, y'all. Go with me, please. I'm just adding these onions in him. Y'all, this pot is hot. I'm using a little hot plate because we got so much going on on the stove. celebrating my niece coming into town I did not close the vlog out and I didn't want to just leave y'all hanging but anywho I just jumped on here I'm hot y'all because I just got out of the shower um put a load of clothes in the washer but that shower it has you hot and I like my shower steamy so I'm kind of hot but anyways I've been up since five this morning is 7 11 on the dot um, I jumped on here just to chat with y'all just a little bit. I know you guys see me fishing. I know I said that I wasn't going to turn on the camera. Well, technically, y'all didn't see me fishing, but I did give y'all a little bit of me, you know, at the lake and stuff. I know I said I wouldn't. I don't want to bore you guys. That's why I don't want to record me at the lake. I don't want you guys to get sick of me fishing. That's the whole ordeal here. I hope you guys are not getting bored with it. But y'all seen the alligators? Oh my goodness, they was too friendly, right? <laughs> I want to say that I believe people have been feeding them because usually alligators don't just come up to you like that, okay? You have to be in the water, splashing, you know, doing something to draw their attention to you. And for them to just come in all kind of different directions that let me know that someone has been feeding them they wasn't afraid of people and that's scary especially when it's small children or animals around but um i did enjoy getting a close-up of them am i afraid of them no i'm not afraid of them um going fishing a lot you kind of get used to alligators. I mean, that's their environment, you know. So you kind of get used to being around them and seeing them frequently. So I don't. I, I mean, I'm not scared. I I just be like, wow, they go alligator. Be praying that I see about a 13 footer, a 20 footer. That's what I be praying that I see. But um, I know most people like, mm -mm, I don't do alligators. But you know. Stay your distance, be safe, and you won't have no problems. But I enjoyed getting that close-up for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. When I say we be having some laughs on the lake, y'all, it's, it's, it's nothing like it, okay? It's nothing like creating memories, okay? And my cousin, little honey hole that he took me to, they was popping, y'all. They was popping, Okay. Definitely going back there and pull me in some more. Um, I'm not sure how many I caught because he was catching as well. So we we definitely was catching there. And then he had to go, you know, handle some business or whatever. So I went to a different spot and then I went to another spot. So I just be late hopping, guys. I love it. Like it's definitely a great hobby for me. I love being on the water. But anywho, I'm not going to talk you guys to death. I just wanted to get on here and close the vlog out. I hope everybody's having a blessed morning. Um, I got Jeffrey off to school. He was sleepy this morning, y'all. I kept thinking he's in there getting dressed. He's back in the bed. 
Then I say, okay, Jeffrey, come on. You got to get up. We're going to miss the bus. Thinking he's getting dressed. Jeffrey's on the sofa since again. He had a sleepy morning this morning, but we finally made it on time. But anyways, y'all, I hope you guys enjoy rolling with me, hanging out with your girl, you know, just chilling, y'all. And like I told you guys, if you want to see how I made all the dishes that I made for the baby shower, please go to my cooking channel. I will leave the link in the description box below so you guys can check out how I did everything. But I'm going to talk to you guys in the next one. Um, I'm probably going to pick you guys up tomorrow, most definitely. So talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh,